What's up guys? Today I'm going to give you some tips on how to wheelie a dirt bike. So when it comes to wheeling dirt bikes, there's, a, there's really like two different style wheelies. You'll see like a, a kind of like a, a speed wheelie where they're just carrying momentum and actually using more of the motor to get the front end up. And then there's more of a slow controlled wheelie where the bike's traveling at a really slow uh, RPM and it takes more balance, more control. That's what I'm gonna talk to you guys about today is a slow controlled wheelie. Now, a few things when doing wheelies, um, you got to think about uh, your obviously body position, throttle and clutch control, and also uh, rear brake technique. Okay, so let's start with body position. If you are on the dirt bike, the one thing you don't want to do is try to do a wheelie and be sitting way too far forward. Obviously, you're putting too much weight on the front end and it's going to be hard to get the front end off the ground. So obviously, if you want to wheelie a dirt bike, it makes a little bit more sense to sit back on the seat. You obviously, you don't have to get way back here when doing a slow controlled wheelie. I like to sit, honestly, like right about here. So I got maybe, you know, I'm barely a hand distance from the back of my seat. So that's kind of where I like to sit. You can tell by looking at my seat, there's a pretty big gap. You know, I'm looking at about a, at least foot and a half or so. So I'm, majority of my weight is back. That's where you want to be. What I do is like to sit there and since it's a slow controlled wheelie, you're going to be just rolling at a roll speed. And then I like to, I like to be on the balls of my feet. As always, that's how I ride. Balls of my feet. I like to come in and what I like to do is I like to use the front brake, pull in the front brake and the clutch kind of at the same time and kind of load my forks just a hair. And I'm just at a gentle kind of uh, roll, load the fork and then quick snap with the clutch and a quick little throttle rock and that will and at the same time sit back and slightly lift don't yank really hard if you yank really hard and dump that clutch and pull you're going to loop out you don't really have to yank that hard you just as you lean back a nice little snap of the clutch will pick up the front end and once you pick up the front end it's really finding that balance point and uh, once you find that balance point you can just control it with the throttle it's really smooth uh, throttle control, you'll hear it just kind of er, 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 er. and then um, it's really throttle control and foot control that controls the wheelie. Once you get the wheelie up and it's, it's there, you're really using this. This is your safety. The rear brake is your safety. And like I said, I start on my foot pegs and then soon as I wheelie, I move my foot up to the rear pedal and I don't take my foot off the brake pedal. If the bike starts to loop out, automatically hit the rear pedal and it will put the front end down. The reason why I think it's important to learn how to do wheelies on dirt bikes is because no matter what type of rider you are, whether you're a motocross rider or a trail rider, free rider out in the hills, whatever, there's times you're going to want to pick up the front end. So if you don't know how to wheelie, you can't get the front end up and that's going to get you in trouble sometimes because there's, there's going to be things out there on the track or in the woods that you do not want to drive your front end into. So it's important to learn how to wheelie. For, for example, if you're a woods rider and there's a big old creek, creek crossing or a huge mud puddle, you don't want to dive into that with your front end. You want to wheelie through that. So that's important to understand how to get the front end up and over those things. And same thing on a motocross track, you're going to have 
you know, there might be a set of rollers. Instead of jumping into the rollers, you might want to wheelie into it. So you need to know the technique of how to pick up the front end. So, like I said, there's high speed wheelies and slower wheelies. If you learn how to do a slow wheelie on a dirt bike, a slow controlled wheelie, you can wheelie anything anywhere because a slow wheelie, a slow wheelie is harder to do than a, a fast wheelie because it's all technique and balance. So if you practice this, you're gonna get good throttle control, good clutch control, and good balance. So when you got time at home, work on your wheelies. If we were to do a slow wheelie, imaginary slow wheelie here on the stand, we would be creeping at a very low speed we're gonna pull in that front brake and clutch, compress that front end just a little bit, and now we're gonna release the front brake and clutch at the same time and roll on that gas, but now we're gonna sit back as we're doing that. So as I sit back and wheelie, I instantly go from my balls of my feet to moving my foot over my brake pedal. Now this is how I'm gonna keep myself from falling off backwards. If the front end comes too high, I'm gonna put on the rear brake and it's gonna drop the front end down. So. It's a nice release, sit. Once the bike's up, you need to control it with your throttle and your rear brake. Safety and smooth just a little bit. Listen to my bike. Hear how the bike's just slow idle, just a nice little control, keeping it from kind of going er, 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 a little bit of a teeter. You gotta find that sweet spot and you'll only figure this out by doing it. And you're not gonna get this overnight. I, I promise you, if you've never done wheelies before and you're brand new and you're trying to wheelie, it's gonna take a lot of tries to figure this out. So don't get discouraged, just keep on trying and try to find good dirt too. Don't, don't do it on really dry, slick dirt. Try to find some good dirt that you can get traction on or even grass sometimes is, is better if you got a good uh, dirt grass type kind of like this is that you can find traction. So do it somewhere that you're gonna get traction that'll help you a little bit get the front end up and you're not just spinning the rear wheel. All right guys, well I hope these tips have been helpful if you like this channel, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, be sure to subscribe and leave some comments down below. If you got some more questions about doing wheelies, I always try to get back to as many comments as I can. So leave some comments, ask some questions. And like I said, we'll see you on the next one here on The Fight Slide. So one last thing I wanna mention is what gear to be in. I prefer first. I can do them either in first gear or second gear, but I prefer first gear. So I would recommend for you guys, try them in first and try them in second and just see which one that works better for you and then go from there.